and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some unyielding Fiora. Um, that's right, we're going to be bringing this deck back. It's a little bit different from like the all in or like the Fiora alone deck, like where you play Fiora and nothing else. But yeah, this is going to be our next deck for our meme tier deck, a viewer submitted version. It's kind of similar though, but we're not playing not playing standalone. But we are going to be trying to win our games with Fiora, uh, killing four enemies to win the game. We're pairing that with Stalking Wolf. That's pretty interesting because Stalking Wolf gives the enemy a snow hair, and that's going to be really good with Fiora of them having an extra little one one for us to kill. Um, then we have cards like Kindly Tavern Keeper that can help heal Fiora if Fiora's taken some damage. Um, we have Vanguard Redeemer that if, if a unit dies, right, like if our Stalking Wolf or Kindly Tavern Keeper, if they die, we can play Redeemer and draw another unit, draw another one of those. Or a Radiant Guardian, that's going to be our good defensive card, help us stay alive longer, help the games go longer there with Radiant Guardian. Um, and then, then our top end, of course, Unyielding Spirit. That's that's the goal of the deck. Get Unyielding Spirit on Fiora. Fiora will never die after that. And, uh, you know, have like our other things that let the game go longer and have Fiora win the game for us. And then we also have our instant win with Judgment and Fiora. That's always a good one. You know, they attack with a whole bunch of stuff. You cast, use your Judgment on your, your Fiora and Fiora can kill four things just like that. Also got a bunch of concerted strikes, a bunch of single combats, more ways for Fiora to kill stuff. We got our entreats to help us draw Fiora, um, and that's kind of the the whole deck right there. Okay, so let's go ahead and we're gonna go play games over in normal with our unyielding Fiora deck. That's what we do with our meme tier decks. We just play in normal. Hey, you in turn five judgment on Fiora is what you're hoping for. Play against like a like the the uh, discard deck like the Draven Jinx that just spews out their hand. Um, yeah, I'm gonna keep these cards. I like it. <clears throat> this could be pretty nice. Bedrasite, protect me. Track them down. All right, won't we'll cast entreat. <clears throat> we'll just save that spell mana. By my honor, you must die. The one problem with killing Mage Seeker Conservator is it does let them cast Remembrance right now with five mana. The good part about that would be all right definitely want to kill that now let them draw two cards see the good part about that would be that they don't um they you know doesn't count as a six mana spell whenever they cast remembrance at five mana Discipline and steal. all right so we know that this one's a random six cost thing they have four demacia They may just like pass back to me. Like if I don't do anything, they probably just pass back to me until I just waste two mana. For a worthy opponent. But with that being said, you know what? I'm gonna entreat. Let's say with that being said, I need that mana to be able to play Unyielding Spirit the next turn. Yep, told you they just passed. Hmm. Yeah, it's pretty risky going for Unyielding Spear. If only this was Burst Speed. Like, back in the day when this was Burst Speed, this game would be super easy. You know, like, it would just be easy mode. You just Burst Speed this and your life's amazing. Yeah, it'd be auto win. But now they can have like their own fight spell or I never 
their own fight spell or grasp the undying, which is not likely grasp the undying. The fight spell is the likely thing. Barrier doesn't help, because it's two different strikes of three. So right now, Fiora's taking three different strikes of three, and so even even Fury of the North does not save Fiora. So I can't save Fiora. Oh, uh, I guess I should have played Radiant Guardian, shouldn't I? I was thinking, the reason why I went Fiora here is because now we have 8 mana for Unyielding Spirit. That's what I was thinking. Like, they play, like, Lux or whatever. They tap out, then I got 8 mana for Unyielding Spirit. Time to get rowdy. I don't want to do this. If it doesn't work, I don't have a great plan. I mean, I have another one. Just kind of looking at it and just kind of thinking that I don't really have a, a better like I'd have to wait I'd have to wait a lot of turns before I could have oh come on really then we have elixir of iron I say I'd have to wait a lot of turns before I'd have the ability to really you know to do anything else with unyielding spirit anyway Yeah, like, that deck doesn't play that much removal. And they'd already played the one. I, I mean, I went for it. It was certainly a risk, but I tried. Let's talk about your death. So I still can have Unyielding Spirit on Radiant Guardian. It's not as good. Ugh. I guess I can't have that. No, that's not worth it, is it? Treat. Soldiers to me. Very good hand. Them. Time to get my hands dirty. We can do this. Pushing 
All right, well. My hope is this works. And then next turn, we have, like, Fury of the North and Judgment. It's my, I mean, that's my only hope. I guess I need to use... Yeah, I guess I, I gotta cast this, but I don't have Fury of the North Judgment next turn. You won't get away with this. I sure did have a lot of their removal. Challenging any of these things don't matter. They all lose three health. They're just three attack. They all lose three health. At the end of the turn. Yeah, well, challenging that thing matters. If I had one more mana, I'd have a chance. Would I? I mean, I'd have a chance. They did a great job having the removal when they needed it. I don't really regret going for that Unyielding Spirit when I did. Alright, definitely going to be one where we need Unyielding Spirit. For sure. I just hope they don't have Culling Strike. You know, no, no Culling Strike, please. That's the one card. Yeah, if I can choose one card for them not to have, that's the card. I need just a moment. Okay, we got some backup Fioras. I, would, I wouldn't mind them casting Culling Strike right now. Okay, that's... That's okay. We have backup Fiora. And, like, that Fiora had zero kills on it. Save your worlds. We speak with blades. I will unite the frail yard. Let them eat souls. Try me. Going with Fury, I know Brittle Steel. Brittle Steel is the obvious thing, but they wouldn't play Ash if they didn't have one mana spell. And that's likely Elixir of Iron. And so if I just go Brittle Steel, they go Elixir of Iron. That's a mess for me because then they get to start attacking with. Faster than my arrow? I think not. As I say, that's that's you know then they get to start attacking with Ash. Alright, two kills for Fiora. Um, 
you know, now we don't have to worry about Brittle Steel on their side. Takes up their turn. They're spending a, a six mana card to counter my three mana card. Fair enough. Victory requires a sharp blade. Is Frostbite the smallest? I don't know, it is Face the strongest me. enemy, right? Seems like if they had a frostbite thing, it seemed like that would have been easier to do than use two elixir of irons. So I'll stay at ten, kill Ash. Third kill on Fiora, yes. I'm saying yes because no. Um, No, whatever it's called. No culling strike. And there we go. Fourth kill. Fior, we had that pretty well covered. If they had a frostbite thing, I could entreat and get repost. Um, so we had it pretty well covered there. So they, they did have the culling strike for the first Fiora, but we, we drew two Fioras. Yeah, and that, that helped out quite a bit. Alright, beating the best deck in the format. They had, a, they had a good hand too, you know, let's see the 5 1 Challenger, Culling Strike, Ash, Ash. Harsh Winds. That was their first six turns. Nothing wrong with that. Okay, Callista Hecarim. I think I... I'm going to keep Entreat to draw Fiora. I'm going to keep on Yielding Spirit. Oh, this is... They're splashing Ionia. They're probably going to have Will of Ionia, but if they have Will... I guess if they have Will of Ionia or whatever, I guess I just lose. Um, it's just, do I keep Fury of the North? I don't think so. Hopefully no Will of Ionia. Uh... Alright. Basically spending mana right now. I'm not really expecting them to uh, kill it. Kill Fiora right now. So I can play Stalking Wolf. Which is good. I can play that as a blocker. And I still have 8 mana for next turn.
these games were so easy when Unyielding Spirit was burst speed. These games were so easy. Kind of bad. Just cast the Unyielding Spear at the turn before if it would have resolved. Well, obviously, we don't know. But if it would have resolved, then I would have had the mana to single combat and fight Hecarim. You know, would have had six mana there. I could have had Fury of the North single combat. If it would have resolved. They could have had basically anything. You know, Grasp the Undying... Um, vengeance, all that kind of stuff to respond to it. A lot easier when it's burst speed. All right, Maokai and Nautilus. Cool, Mulligan. play this thing. So that, I'm guessing they're debating whether or not to play Maokai. It's likely what's going on right now. Just don't like any of these cards. <laughs> but I mean, this is... They're taking a very long... Like, they're getting a bunch of mana, but they're taking a very long time to go deep. Vanguard Redeemer doesn't draw champions, right? When it says draw a unit, like does this draw does this have a chance of drawing Fiora? Is there like even a chance of drawing Fiora? I don't think there is. Y'all say it does? Well well like like, uh, Silver, or Swiftwing Lancer says create an elite, like, whenever it dies, but it will never create a Garen. Garen's an elite. 
Like, I, I don't think these kind of things do champions. I could could have played the other stalking wolf from hand. Redeemer does. Redeemer does draw champions. Uh, being search bar, <laughs> getting the the gifted sub. Thank you so much, there, Santa Kitty Dexterity. I mean, yes, Fiora is a unit, but like I said, like, Garen's an elite and you can't create a Garen. Oh, you're welcome, Choo Choo. Choo Choo says, I've been crawling through your YouTube searching for new cool decks to play, and it's an amazing treasure trove. Huge things rocking Lux Ash currently. Awesome. There you go. All right, Quillot says it can draw F Fiora. Okay. So that's why it's in our deck. Okay, because it can draw Fiora. I didn't think it could draw Fiora. I didn't think it could. Two mana is going to go away anyway. We'll go and play this. It's, it does kind of help them to have these one health things die as far as Maokai is concerned. But I shouldn't be that worried about Maokai right now. I I, I want to have them still have some 1-1s one -ones out here for my Fiora. Plans of Withering Whale. Yeah, we both Devour, yeah, Devour on Fiora and Nautilus. Um, Nautilus's champion spell being Riptide. Those are both really big problems for our Fiora stuff. So those are some big time problems. The fact that they played a Nautilus likely means they have another Nautilus, and that is likely quite bad for us. So we'll see if Redeemer draws us a Fiora or not. It's kind of bad. I mean, I guess you need something to die for a Redeemer, but it's kind of bad having Tavern Keeper in here because then, you know, just sometimes you're going to draw a Tavern Keeper and you don't want to draw a Tavern Keeper. Remember me. 
remember the fall. Wow, y'all were right. Okay, Redeemer can draw champions. I didn't I didn't realize that. <laughs> uh we've played a few different Iceborne Legacy decks. We played one yesterday. Uh, and that one didn't work out very well, but um the one that worked the best was a Yeti deck. Did it? I don't know. Iceborne Legacy just doesn't doesn't work that well. But I think this was, yeah, this is like the one that kind of worked the best, but also just the biggest meme tier kind of deck. Combines a little bit of everything. My sword is yours to command. <clears throat> There's so many ways for this to go wrong for us. Not really any ways for us for this to go right. We're gonna have to pray for Fiora plus Judgment, I think. Kaba, what are you talking about? Save your worlds. We speak with blades. Wish I had another Concerted Strike in case they have another Devourer Adepts. The Fiora is striking second, so the Fiora will be the thing that kills the Devourer. Oh, dang. That's not good. A huge explosion explosion in the Lobano. That's not good. It's not good at all. Hope things work out the best they can. Can't really say hope everything will be okay because, you know, with big, large explosions, not everything's going to be okay. Outside. This one's a 
on the house. Oh God. So my hope here is to, to win this game with judgment on this turn. And it's kind of like like they they start with like spending playing like an expensive spell and then I play judgment in response to their expensive spell. That's kind of the hope. Like maybe that they're worried right now about this. They play something. And now, hopefully, they don't have another grasp. We're setting out some... Like, they've already played two grasps. Set ourselves up as good as we can. To win this, the game that looked like that we had no chance for a super long time. Come on. No! Nautilus is a riptide. I mean, that's about as good of a chance as we're going to have, you know? So I think I single combat something and just kill like a, I don't know, a dead bloom wanderer, I guess. This will be quick. I don't think that if I would have cast single combat first, that they would have then responded with rip tied because it would still be my Fiora dying so I, like, I couldn't just respond with single combat first at least I don't think so So I, I had the, my single combat. I had to kill my Fiora so that they don't get a Nautil so they don't shuffle a Nautilus back into their deck. I think that was really important not to you know to not have. I, I don't want them drawing more Riptides, right? So, I, um, and then that also kill keep, also kept my Stalking Wolf alive. Another Devourer gone, that's good. I gotta save all this stuff for Fiora. I need to keep their things alive for my Fiora. Our ancestors are watching. Yeah, that's a problem with playing Kindly Tavern Keeper. I don't want to draw you. So 
At least that should be the last of our adepts, unless a Jaw Hunter creates one. Yeah, this game we drew zero Fioras and zero Entreats. Uh, the only reason why we had a Fiora was because of Vanguard Redeemer finding one for us. Oh my gosh, this opponent has been playing these turns so slow and they're like 100% to win. Like 98% to win. Just come on. I mean, Fiora Judgment doesn't really even kill hardly anything, right? It kills two things. Unless it goes left to right and Fiora levels up, and maybe it'll kill the fours also. But we'd have to get four things in... You know, we'd have to get all those things in combat. Uh... New Fiora has to still kill four things. Each each Fiora has to kill four things. It doesn't matter if Fiora's leveled up. It's not just, okay, you're leveled. It's not like once you're leveled up, you kill two new things. It says Fiora has to kill four things. Yeah, it's not, it's not, uh, you know... Kill two to level up Fiora, then once once you have a leveled up Fiora, kill two more. It's kill four. Yeah. Okay, this is a this could be a great Fiora matchup if we can find Fiora because all these things you know they this kind of deck plays a lot of small units. Fiora, where are you at? Yes, okay. Chain Vest is perfect with Fiora also. Love that. Now I want... I want some buff card things to... Okay, that'll work. I need things that will keep Fiora alive. Second Chain Vest doesn't help. Come closer. I don't bite. Elixir of Iron's great. I like that one. That helps keep Fiora alive. I should have challenged the Elise. I don't know why I didn't. I thought for some reason they had the attack token. They didn't. I was just wrong. Just kind of naturally. like I thought they had the attack token. I wanted to keep them from attacking and play bad. from my pets. In Avarosa's name. All right, we want to keep finding protection for Ash. Why do I say Ash for Fiora? Sharp blade, sharp mind. Keep finding protection for Fiora. Not surprised there. You don't make that attack if you don't have Glimpse Beyond. Mm. 
I should have done that math. Bad play by me. Bad play. I've had that happen to me before with this, with a Fiora deck like this. Could not have walked into that. Fight the signal fires. I fight for the fallen. I would like them to do that again, play something in Fury of the North, that would give me, you know, easily let me, um, Unyielding Spirit. We should be good with Unyielding Spirit no matter what on this thing. Like, Atrocity doesn't, doesn't kill it. Like, I don't think that they're going to be able to kill Radiant Guardian anyway, so, like, I am going to be casting Unyielding Spirit. Not gonna be waiting. So now can one unyielding or can one radiant guardian win this for us? We have some fight spells to help it out. Let's just get rid of this Callista before more bad things happen. Yeah, hopefully we find another Fiora or an Entreat. All right, so that's five cards that we're trying to draw. Yeah, we don't. Don't want they who endure on their side. What'd they kill with the caretaker? Was it not a cursed keeper? I thought it was a cursed keeper. Oh, oh, but they they ran out of room for the four three, I guess. You dare. Okay, yeah, they burned the four three. That's cool. See, Fiora would be so good. I I messed that up with that attack with the Fiora into Fury of the North. It's the only card that you have to worry about. Set up. We shall pierce their treasonous ass. You'll be right out. One Fiora on our side, and we're golden. Yeah, I honestly don't... Maybe I just don't even have to... I'm thinking, like, do I need to... Uh, 
fight and kill Callista. I'm kind of thinking maybe not. Like, these fight spells are going to be really necessary for um, they who endures, right? Or, like, even, like, the the five mana two for. That's going to kind of be more important also. A tribute to the spider God. Or if we find a Fiora. I think I can let them have a leveled up Callista. Strike for justice. I have two concerted strikes now. No, Vengeance doesn't kill Radiant Guardian, like, Vengeance kills this and you can't, Radiant Guardian can't die. Could go above 20 life. Because, yeah, they get to the point with they who endure that it doesn't matter if you're. We, we shall not rest until all the traitors At 20 or not. Well, it's the last one of those. It's the last one of those. Also, pure. Yeah, they could have purify. You know, or like, Demacia has a couple answers. Purify, detain. That was a bad that was a bad use. I should use the elixir of iron. Shouldn't I? I should use elixir of iron. I need I need that card against they who endure, that, that flash freeze I just used. That was bad that was just a brain fart by me. That was bad. from my pets. Free in space for they who endure. Banish the unworthy. Well, 
for their, you know, having more things die for they who endure. If I was at like 19 or 20, I wouldn't be attacking with Radiant Guardian. But we're at 14. And so I value that 5 life more than. Yeah, you know, like, you know, we need that 5 life basically. They endure cost 7, atrocity cost 6. They can still do both those in one turn, but not right now, not after spending 2 mana on Unleashed Spirit. I guess Haunted Relic is like the real card name. Okay. I would love if they make that attack. Give me a free Fiora kill. I would love if they make that attack. I never hold back. Oh God. And I don't think I... So here I don't think I Radiant Guardian attack and let them have another thing die for they who enter. Um, and free up some slot in. Take something that like be easy to kill with Fiora, right? Like, I want the things that I can kill with Fiora. Too easy. I want those to stay out there. Definitely not worth attacking with Radiant Guardian. Mana short. Hold back the darkness. I'm one mana short from where I need to be. Or like from from like being able to play Fury here, which would be nice, and then also having the two concerted strikes available. Puts me now to one. I can play Elixir of Iron, I guess. Put me to three. Exactly. I can't. I have to have double Concerted Strike available in response to an Atrocity if they go with an Atrocity. So I can have... Con like, they, they go Atrocity, I have Concerted Strike kill one, Concerted Strike kill the other. That's my plan. I will cut you down. Try me. Strike for justice! Well, I'm glad they didn't block Radiant Guardian. Obviously, if they have if they have a second if they have a second atrocity, I'm going to be losing. But it's just how it is.
Oh my gosh. Well, never mind. Um. Huh. Like, this one should be the 2524 that I can't deal with. I kind of think I strike the They Who Endure instead of striking the Callista. Let's see, I gain... I guess I stay the same life total either way, don't I? I guess it has to be... I guess at this point, because I'm not going to be winning the game right now with Fiora, I guess at this point I actually need the Radiant Guardian. So I'm still going to be 2 out of 4 instead of 3 out of 4, but I think I need that life. Honestly, to help stay alive for another attack. Um, do I play you, Stalking Wolf? I have 11 mana next turn if I play the Stalking Wolf. No, I'd rather have 13. In case we draw a Judgment, we have Judgment plus one of these things. Ooh. Well. I will end this here. If they have third atrocity, we can respond with concerted strike. Uh, I don't know why my opponent atrocity the Callista instead of the Endure. They they should have done the Endure. If they if they would have done Endure, I would have lost. It's going to make it that easier with that They Who Endure having 9 health now. I'll make that easier, at least. Okay. Virtue guides me! Uh, I, don't know, I guess I should have played Redeemer instead of Entreat. I didn't want Redeemer to draw Fiora. I wanted to play Entreat first, but and so I was planning on playing Redeemer there. But because you know, I just want to get these. I want to just get these units out of my deck. So I don't really want to draw them. So like that's that's what Redeemer would help do. Like I don't want to draw ta Kindly Tavern Keeper, for example. Um, Leave your tracks in the door. But again, I guess just because the threat of atrocity, I don't want to tap under five mana.
Yeah, we're in normal rank. The meme tier days, we just play normal. Alright, three out of four for Fiora. Our ancestors are watching. I pull the string. I mean, yeah, they're probably just waiting for a, a, they're probably just waiting for another they who endure. And I'm I'm saving my concerted strike to protect against atrocity. It's the only card that I don't want them to draw. Like I have atrocity covered, good. I just don't have they who endure covered. So basically, I'm saying like as long as they don't draw they who endure. I'm good. Everyone's okay, well, they didn't, didn't have either. Yeah, so like their plan, they have to try to take these saplings and try to do 25 damage to me. Let's have Fiora and Fiora's repost team up. Alright, there we go! Unyielding Fiora, GG's, that was a good game. That was a good game. They should have won that for, you know, it, did, it took a super, like, I did find the one Fiora and I made the really bad play on turn four. But besides that, of attacking into Fury of the North. But besides that, I feel like I played the rest of the game very well. It just took us a super long time to, to find Fiora. A second copy of Fiora. Um, but yeah, Unyielding Spirit gets another win there. So I don't know. I honestly, I don't know about like the whole Stalking Wolf, Kindly Tavern Keeper, Vanguard Redeemer, even Radiant Guardian. I don't, I don't know about all that stuff to be honest. I, I don't feel like the deck really needs any of those cards. Um, I kind of just like the, the Fiora alone version like, the Fiora alone version just feels like a stronger version of this deck of, you know, like, where you'd have Entreat and Fiora and that's it. But you have a lot more ways to protect your Fiora whenever you do have a Fiora and you are, com you know, you do completely rely on a Fiora. I think this deck needs more concert. I think this version probably needs more Concerted Strike. Concerted Strike looked great. I think this has too much Take Heart, Fury, Riposte standalone like those four cards i think there's too much of these four cards in this version and there needs to be more concerted strike and more brittle steel <laughs> uh so where's our deck unyielding fiora there we go <laughs> she don't need no man nah, nah she don't <laughs> All right, so there we go. That's Unyielding Fiora. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Um, and, of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.